We're coming on the air tonight literally chilling as this unrelenting Arctic blast has seemed to dig its heels in Michigan. And now our team is preparing you for the after effects as things will begin to warm up later in the week. That's good news, of course, but there are some things you have to be cautious of, too. Thanks for joining us at 6. We hope you are safe and warm. I'm Joshua Short. And I'm Lauren Moss. Our weather team first alerted you to this deep freeze when it started last week. So by now, you know just how dangerous these temps can really be. Natasha Cassell's live in the newsroom. Natasha, what can you tell us? Lauren, I spent part of the day with an expert when it comes to pipes, and he's got some information you'll want to hear. Any time the weather is below freezing, you're at risk for, for your pipes bursting in your home or business. Across the country, many are facing freezing temperatures, which are causing pipe problems for millions. Pipes begin to experience issues once temperatures hit below 20 degrees. What is happening in many cases is the pipes are either not insulated properly or that extreme cold, the Arctic weather that we're getting is getting the pipes and it's making it colder than what they would normally be. And as we all know, if you have water and it freezes, that ice expands. And so what's happening in your water is if it doesn't have a way to release the pressure in those pipes, as that ice is expanding, the water doesn't have anywhere to go. The ice is naturally pushing against those pipes that can cause it to break if, if that pressure is not released. Even if a pipe freezes, it doesn't always mean the pipe will burst. In fact, there are ways you can address frozen pipes too. To try to slowly thaw the ice, a hair dryer is the most recommended method, but it does, as that ice is expanding, it does compromise your pipes. So you might not have a burst pipe, but you might have what's considered a pinhole leak in your pipe. A lot of times that burst pipe might just be a small hole that's a slow trickle over time, so it's not something you're gonna see immediately. Your water's gonna be working, you're gonna think you're okay, but then you end up actually having a, having a, a bigger issue down the line. I know all of you out of Michigan know how cold and how freezing it is outside, but just to get a visual, here out in the St. Joseph River, the water is actually a bit warmer than you would think, and it's causing steam to rise. And officials with first response say that people are actually going to start seeing a lot more issues with their pipes once the temperature also starts to rise. Normally, a lot of the pipes that are going to burst once the weather warms up a little bit, so we're talking gets over that 32 degrees mark, then you're really going to begin to see those, and it normally happens within one to three days. And we hear the warnings every year. Freezing temperatures can wreak havoc on your pipes, but just remember, prevention can go a long way. So keep your faucets dripping, keep your cabinets open, because like Martin says, and like I'm hoping, we're almost done with these freezing temperatures. <laughs> <laughs> from Miami. Tell us you're from Miami. I'll yeah. say you're from Florida. All right. We're all looking forward to the temperatures back in the 20s. Yes, Natasha, we, we appreciate the heads up reporting tonight. You know, the cold is also 